He shall be to me, do for that, yet shall be, and whoever believes in me shall never die. To show that this also passing power is from God and not from us. We are hard pressed on every side, but not crushed, perplexed, but not in despair, persecuted, but not abandoned, struck down, but not destroyed. We always carry around in our body the death of Jesus, so that the life of Jesus may also be revealed in our body. For we who are alive are always being given over to death. For Jesus' sake, so that his life may also be revealed in our mortal body. So then, death is at work in us, but life is at work in you. It is written, I believe, therefore I have spoken. Since we have that same spirit of faith, we also believe and therefore speak. Because we know that the one who raised the Lord Jesus from the dead will also raise us in Jesus and present us with you to himself. All this is for your benefit, so that the grace that is reaching more and people may cause thanksgiving to overflow to the glory of God. Therefore, we do not lose heart. Though outwardly we are wasting away, yet inwardly we are being renewed day by day. For our lives and momentary troubles are achieving for us an eternal glory that far outweighs them all. So we fix our eyes not on what is seen, but on what is unseen. Since what is seen is temporary, but what is unseen is eternal. The Lord bless the name of the world. I myself am the resurrection and the life. Jesus told her, the man who believes in me will live even though he dies. And anyone who is alive and believes in me will never die at all. Can you believe that? Yes, Lord. Say this, she went to bed and called her in the system. Whispered, the master's here and is asking for you. When Mary heard this, she sprang to her feet and went to him. Now Jesus had not yet arrived in the village itself, but was still going out of her bed. So when the Jews who had been following Mary in the house saw her getting the wheel and go out, they followed her.
himself and uh, he, he is somebody that believes that things will be done right. And if you don't want to do that thing like that is where you they will clash with him. No sentiment. No sentiment at all. So we quickly done and throw that stuff. There's no place we don't go to. Maybe we will leave the entire body by seven here straight to the degree because he did himself there. And to speak he did it. Must have that to Suka, we go to Suka from Suka and we go to Imara where he did his first degree.
in 1999. He was also executive officer, Nigerian Navy Secondary School, Abiyo in 2001. The late senior officer was again posted to Nigerian Defense Academy as an instructor in 2006, and he's been there until his demise. The late senior officer distinguished himself as a patriotic education officer. He was loyal, disciplined, articulate, humble, and very reliable. He was awarded and decorated with past junior staff course, past senior staff course, forces service star, and meritorious service star. The late senior officer served the Nigerian Navy for 23 years before his retirement on 24 December 2007. As the saying goes, from dust we come and to dust we shall return. Mm -hmm. Late Captain Professor Michael Olatunji Oladejo retired, as it shall be with all mortals, bowed to Mother Earth on 6 October 2021. His death is a great loss, not only to his immediate family, but the Nigerian Navy in particular, and the nation in general. Captain Michael Oladejo, we love you very dearly, but God loves you the most. Oladejo, on behalf of the Chief of the Naval Staff, officers rating, and civilian staff of the Nigerian Navy, I pray for the repose of your soul. Amen. Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, here lies on this day, Captain Professor Michael Olatunji Oladejo retired, a gallant and brave professional, a gentleman officer, and a caring family man, and a patriotic citizen. Rest in peace, Adio, Captain Michael Olatunji Olatunji. <laughs> Thank you.
May I call on the next of kin, Mr. Nangri, when I go to this step forward? Amen, sir. 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 Am